Yes, sir. Are you doing ministry? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Who told you to do a church? My husband told me that he was called, and then we, he started ministry. Huh? My husband told me that he was called, and where, where is he? He's at home. Uh, he told you that it's cold. Yes. Huh? No, I'm not denying issues of the calling. I'm just asking. Um, I want to pray for you because I saw a problem on you. Huh? Yes. Um, I'm, I saw you going to the doctor. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. And from there, I'm seeing. Where are your children? They're back home. I'm seeing a problem. I'm seeing a problem in your, in your stomach. Yes. Huh? And when I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this, I'm seeing something like a cyst. Yes. Hmm? Yes. That yes. sometimes it's like it becomes very painful. Yes. I even went to the doctor on Thursday. On Thursday. Yes. So they that checked. this thing is, is bothering you. Huh? Yes. A lot. So why he didn't pray for you? <laughs> why your husband didn't pray for you? I want to pray for you, and I believe you people, you must don't stop what you're doing. Okay. Because of this, this is a spirit that has attacked you. Are you hearing me? Yes. And I believe after I pray for you, God, I, I mean, did he just pray for you people? So me, I'm just, I'm just painting. Painting of the job that is done. Yes. Sir. Because I'm seeing it developing. It will end up developing bad things in your stomach. Huh? Yes. This is caused by one. It's like when you sleep. I'm seeing people trying to feed you also. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. That's. So you people, you must pray. When you are doing your ministry, you must pray. Huh? Are you hearing me, Mama? Yes. You must stand together with your, with your husband. You pray. Because if you're not praying, these people will continue attacking you. Because you know what is happening, yeah? So he's having a church. Yes, hmm? in Ranfontaine. In Ranfontaine. Yes. I want to pray for you. You are released from this prison. You're free. Touch you. In the name of Jesus, you are released. You are healed in Jesus' name. You're free, Mama. Mama, can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Lisa Homosit. I'm coming from Ranfontein. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Mama. The prophecy that I received from Prophet Andres, he spoke about the ministry, that he, are we in ministry? And I said, yes, we are in ministry. And he said, we must not stop what we are doing and that we must pray. And he also prophesied about the cyst that is in me, uh, that it causes me problems. Sometimes it becomes very painful and I confirm it to be true. Because on Thursday I went to the doctor and then the doctor said I had cyst. And how was this cyst affecting you? The cyst is affecting me because we were planning to have another child, but it, we were unable because of the cyst. 
and it was making my stomach it it was painful living in my stomach it was it was very difficult for me and and for how long have you been searching for a child uh actually we we have two children but when we came here they prophesied that god is going to bless us with a child and afterwards i started to experience this issue of cyst in my stomach and all that so i think it's the prophecy from daddy we received i think two years ago and also the prophet told you about the a spirit that is feeding you in your dreams were you aware about that yes i'm aware because sometimes i will see myself eating in the dream is true and and how was that affecting you eh uh, what the prophet said is that it is the one that is causing all these things in my stomach so they it resulted into this cyst and this the problem in the stomach the pains that i was having and not being able to conceive and now that he has prayed for you are you still experiencing those pains no now i'm not experiencing any pain after he prayed for me i'm not experiencing any pain i i feel much better and even when he was praying for me i could feel that there was a sensation on my stomach so i knew that something has happened words of encouragement i want to encourage um, the people of god that they must believe the prophets of god what they will speak is actually what is happening in our lives and god has sent them to us for a purpose so we must believe them and believe that god is going to use them in our lives